Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Folks, I've been doing this show for nearly three years. It's been a whirlwind of jokes, conversations with exciting celebrities, occasional on-camera binge drinking. <laughs> but through it all, one thing has never changed, and that is my merchandise, okay? Yes, our signature late show branded apparel. It's a great look for a man, for a woman, or just for wiping up spills the late show way. <laughs> These things are not only 100% cotton, they're 99% profit. <laughs> the only way, ah, oh, the only way my merch could be improved is if I had more of it to sell. So I sent out one of our writers to expand our collection. The Late Show Collection, the hottest in entertainment wear, in a variety of colors, sizes, and mug, all scented with bacon grease from the deli that serves as our showroom. We wanted to upgrade our style, and what better place to do that than New York Fashion Week, baby? 12 days of the hottest trends and coolest ways to not be naked. Since I couldn't attend, I sent our most fashionable and, at the moment, least busy writer, Ariel. That's today. All she needed was to get her glam on. I'm here at New York Fashion Week. Let's fashion. This was her debut Fashion Week. So first, she got oriented. How many Fashion Weeks have you been to? I've been in this jungle for quite a while. It's 12, 13, 14, but it keeps going. This is actually probably my sixth Fashion Week. Can you tell me about your outfit? So where am I coming from was what I thought of. Great. Where am I going? Like you're going outside. You put a coat on. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And then where are you going with the coat? Are you going to dinner or are you going to... Are you going fly fishing? Right, exactly. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. have any advice for someone whose first uh, Fashion Week it is? Well, you don't need advice. Look at you. Okay. Look at you. You're going all glitz and glam on it. You got the memo. <laughs> Fashion Week is all-encompassing, with different styles, opinions, and even ages. You're 16 years old? Yeah. Is this your first Fashion Week? Uh, no, this is actually my third one. Oh, my so God. I'm well experienced <laughs> in this area. Tell me about your look. So these pants, uh, they're PVC. They're from GMBH. OK. Uh, this was my grandfather's trench coat. These ones are from George Cabria. Solange wore them on the cover of Surface magazine. And once I saw them, I was just like, I have to have them. Kids these days. Attendees were wearing anything and anyone. Like this jacket made of freshly skinned Muppet. And the runway held even more revelations. I would wear any one of those things to the office or to like a fairy wedding or uh, just sitting alone in a stairwell. Fashion week is so good. <laughs> Fully inspired, it was time to get down to business. One of the reasons we're here is because The Late okay. Show has a line of merch, right? We have okay. some garments with our logo printed on it. And I am looking for a new direction, like something to add to the collection. Well, I've never seen your merchandise, but overalls. Overalls and corduroys. Windbreakers. Oh, yeah, windbreakers. Those yeah. are big, like the tracksuits. Those should definitely come back. Undergarments, like underwear. Oh, like, like Stephen yes. Colbert, The Late Show on that your underwear. So awesome. I love fanny packs. You love fanny I do packs? love fanny packs. Okay. Color, flare, something simple, white, plain canvas with something that pops on it. Now that Ariel had some ideas, it was time to meet with actual fashion designer Zach Posen by ambushing him in his office. This is our fall winter collection. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. What I like most about these clothes is that there seems to be a lot of surface area that you could put like the late show with Stephen Colbert on. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of places. Do in the back there. You could embroider it on the lapel, small corporate style. Crop jacket, really short. Can I touch this? You can touch anything. Okay. Can you try something on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, it is a full cape. Uh, it's a double crepe, a satin back crepe, matching double oh. face. Wow. Embroidery. This is a good look for me, and I feel like a beautiful witch. I think we found our piece. We're gonna go full jewel cape. How much are we talking? Um, okay, but we only need one, so like for how many is this? Like how many do you get? Like I only want one garment. Oh no, no, that's one. Um, it's a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, I'm gonna go and get more money. Okay. Thank you. It seemed haute couture was out of our reach. We'd have to settle for lote couture. Ariel racked her brain for what she had learned. Something simple, white, 
plain canvas, but something that pops on it. Undergarments, like underwear, oh, is like Stephen yes. Colbert, the late show on that your underwear. So you could even put the logo on the back of the underwear on the butt. The late show with underwear. I like that. Do you really? Actually. <laughs> I have to see it to believe it. We'll be right back.